Dr. John Gottman, Professor Emeritus of Psychology of Washington University, has developed a model that claims 90% accuracy in predicting whether newlywed couples will remain married. He believes that an early warning sign that a marriage is in danger is the expression of harsh criticism. Complaints that are expressed in a destructive fashion, such as an attack on someone's character, lead to a destructive cycle of defensive responses and lashing out. This leaves both people feeling ashamed and disliked, which can be devastating to the relationship. Other styles of communication can be equally harmful, such as stonewalling, in which a person tries to avoid discussing difficult issues, or passive-aggressive communication, where upset is expressed in an indirect and covert manner. Communicating your feelings in an open and non-confrontational way is an important skill. I'd like to share four approaches to achieving this. The first is to start in a positive way. Dr. M. Wickler, marriage counsellor and author, explains that it's important to pick the right time to communicate difficult feelings. When you're feeling calm, collected, and other people are not around. It's also good to start in a positive way. For instance, by acknowledging the other person's point of view or apologising for a mistake you may have made. The second is don't blame or label. The psychologist Dr. Chaim Ginnott taught the best formulation for expressing criticism is an X, Y, Z formula. When you did X, it made me feel Y and I'd rather you did Z instead. Take Sarah, who was upset with her husband, John, for coming home late from work without calling her. She expressed her anger by saying, why didn't you call me to let me know that you were going to be late? You are so stupid and inconsiderate. Never ever do that again. Using the X, Y, Z formula, she could have said, when you didn't call me to tell me you'd be late, I felt unappreciated. Please in future call me to let me know if you're running late. This approach avoids causing defensiveness, stops the tendency to blame, and focuses on making requests rather than demands. Third, use non-defensive listening. A imago therapy, an approach for strengthening marital harmony, stresses the importance of mirroring. Mirroring is a technique in which a person paraphrases what has been said before replying. Take the case of Sarah and John. Instead of John replying defensively and trying to justify his actions, he mirrors back what Sarah has said. For instance, what you're saying is you're upset that I didn't call you to let you know that I was going to be late, and that made you feel unappreciated. This allows the speaker to feel understood and validates their feelings. The other person then has an opportunity to reply, which in turn is mirrored back to them. This approach helps both parties to feel understood and air their difficulties in a safe and calm way. Fourth, resolve influences from the past. Arguments are often rooted in unresolved past relationships as negative feelings from them become transferred onto the current ones. For example, someone who feels they didn't live up to their parents' expectations may react with anger to anyone who gives the slightest hint that they're not living up to what is expected of them. The anger arises from a difficulty in the relationship with their parents, but it's expressed in the present relationship. Resolving the underlying problematic relationship helps stop this transference from occurring. And at times, this can be best achieved with the help of a therapist. I'm Arie Sampson, and you're watching JTV. To stay up to date with JTV content, Click subscribe here if you're on YouTube 
and hit the alarm bell. And if you're on Facebook, hit the like button and under following, click see first. If you enjoy watching JTV content and want to help us continue to grow, please consider making a donation to us by clicking here.